some of the primary forest treatments that the Forest Service is proposing is to get rid of some of the limbs that are low to the ground and are called ladder fuels so that if and when a fire starts those fuels won't carry the fire up into the crowns because once the, the wildfires get into the crowns of the trees they can start new fires many miles from that initial start. So if we can keep the fires low intensity and low on the ground we don't want to eliminate fire, it'll never be eliminated, but we want it to return more to the natural cycles that are easier to control and less damaging, not just to communities, but to the habitat and to the forest in concern. Where we run into issues are, is, the, uh, is the fuel ladders, and there's prime examples of them. This stand right back here, that little dense stand, you can see that fire will come in the bear clover or get in that cedar tree, and that whole stand of trees is gone. I mean, it will crown out just from just from being there. Now you pull some of the material out of there, the lower trees get the canopy base height up to about 20 feet uh, or so. Fire can run right underneath it. It's not, it doesn't have a fuel ladder into the crowns. It, it'll, it'll survive, but then the stocking levels are still a little bit high. The data we're collecting is for um, uh, fuel management and uh, fire behavior. So we're looking at the forest as a whole for um, what is existing out there as far as vegetation and as far as fuel. So this loosely relates to a lot of what we've been talking about today, but that's what my team is concerned with. Well, and the fisher essentially is the mammal <laughs> a component, or, or, or like the spot owl, except they're a mammal. They also um, occupy areas where there's lots of big trees, uh, the canopy cover is pretty closed. Uh, basically an old growth or an older forest type condition is the preferred habitat for these animals. I think the unique aspects of this project are that the science team's committed to being open and transparent, sharing information as it becomes available and, and not waiting for it to be peer reviewed and refereed. That's unique and the Forest Service has committed to that as well.